BCEs, BCE Tribe, BCE Tribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. D'Amico's Chambers here, the cloud engineer, owner of uh, B Cloud Engineers. And I want to send you a special message real quick. First off, Happy New Year's. Happy, happy New Year's. Happy. Hope you're uh, starting the year off right um, by taking your next career choice, uh, which is hopefully to get into this cloud tech industry uh, very seriously. Um, but most importantly, take some time to reflect on the things that you did accomplish last year and give yourself credit for those things. I know so often, you know, us ambitious individuals, we get so caught up in uh, short measuring ourselves. I say, because we always count the things that we didn't do or didn't accomplish and overlook um, the things that uh, we did accomplish. Um, and you often find out that the things you did accomplish trumps the list of things you didn't accomplish. But, you know, being that we are ambitious, you know, we're always looking at uh, the things that we could have done because we know what's in us. Uh, but please give yourself that grace. Uh, speaking of overlook, I want to send you this email, this personal email. I'm not editing in this video. This is a one take or a <laughs> one take shot. So what you see is what you're about to get. Um, you can see the image up top. I'm basically about to kind of go over the uh, most overlooked cloud certifications going into 2023. Um, this is based off my opinion, based off my research, seeing trends that I'm seeing in the market, trends that I'm seeing of, of newcomers trying to get into, break into the industry, and trends I'm seeing of, of those individuals who are even trying to elevate their career within cloud tech. Um, I wanted to start off with these certifications. I'm going to quickly kind of run down what they are um, and also give you the salary expectations on average based on these certifications. Now, it's important I bring these up because I don't want you to be like most, including myself, originally coming to the industry and everybody's running after the cloud solutions architect certification. If you follow me on TikTok, which is B Cloud Engineers, you'll, you'll know and see that I'm always saying, don't go get that AWS cloud solutions architect certification. Not that it's not valuable, it's highly valuable, but it's more so for senior engineers. It's not gonna do really do you justice to getting your first cloud job or even moving up um, um, in your cloud career after only being there for one year. It's more of a senior level certification, even though it's not marketed that way. That's how the industry sees it. So I wanna go over these certifications that I think are highly valuable and get overlooked. Um, they take just as mu a much amount of time as it is to accomplish the entry level certifications, you know, the Azure 900, the AWS practitioner, um, the Google Cloud Digital Learner, um, et cetera. But these, I think you should aim at, especially for those of you who have already identified what type of cloud role that you desire, whether you want to be in the security realm, you want to be a DevOps engineer, or you want to be in sales, or you want to be a cloud admin, et cetera, um, which is also important. So please, if you haven't already read my email, go back and read my email on how to figure out which, uh, or take my cloud tech quiz to figure out which cloud tech role it is you should be pursuing this year. But I'm going to help you with these these certifications. You get these certifications, um, you can pretty much uh, be able. It's going to give you a lot of buying power. On top of doing your three labs, don't forget every time you get a certification, you need to complete three projects. And again, I speak about that in my email. So go back through my emails um, and read up on how I talk about. And I probably do one so email just simply about uh, cloud projects. If you're in my classroom, you already know what what it is when it comes to these cloud projects. But um, getting these certifications on top of your cloud projects, you should be able to uh, land a cloud job soon, soon, like probably uh, two months after getting the certification and after you have completed your third project. Um, so uh, let me go over them quickly. Uh, you're starting off with, and you should either, it's either going to be below me or above me in this email. But uh, uh, real quickly, um, there's about six of them. So you got your Google Cloud professional architect certification um that is also more of a senior level certification um it's it's one of the harder certifications but it's also one of the senior level certifications that don't have a prerequisite as far as you having to get other google cloud certifications so if you could study up on all uh on google cloud and um take the exam take the uh, study material for google cloud practitioner, um, professional architect uh, certification. You can pretty much get that certification within a year's time. Again, it's a tougher, more higher end certification, but if you get that certification, it is powerful. You can walk in damn near any uh, Google shop uh, company, based company who has Google Cloud as their service provider and pretty much get uh, most of those roles. So, um, but that's the high end, all right? 
but um, on average, those Google Cloud practitioners are making about uh, 94 to 190 a year, all right, on average. Switching between screens here, so hopefully you still hear my voice if you don't see my face. Uh, next, moving on to AWS security. Uh, that's for those who want to do security, especially in the AWS platform. Um, I do want to encourage you, be cloud native um, before you try to be cross-platform cloud uh, engineer, meaning working an expert or uh, 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 an expert among multi multi cloud. So, Azure. Some of you want to get Azure and get AWS. You know, um, you're going to get in the door a lot more efficiently when you're really good at just one cloud platform, especially in a specific specialized area, which is another thing. These are all specialized certifications, which also helps you. Um, so, for those who want to be on the security side and work for cloud. Um, um, uh, working on the AWS platform, you got your AWS security cert. They average on 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 year about one forty nine a year, which is pretty good money. All right, moving on next, we got our AWS DevOps cert. I think this cert gets overlooked a lot because so many of you have have already started studying so many programming skills and developer skills and infrastructure as code. You're learning Linux. You learn how to how to build out uh, Terraform um, templates, etc. Um, those are DevOps skills, and they are essential. Um, especially getting the certification over oh, it would capsulize all those skills in one. And um, again, the, you're be a specialized in, in AWS DevOps and it will it will get you so far in this industry uh, so fast. So that AWS DevOps certification, don't overlook that on average right now, they're making about a hundred, a hundred thousand dollars. And then uh, you have your uh, we're gonna move over to Azure. Got your Azure 104, sir. I think that's the uh, administration uh, certification. Great for those who want to be cloud administrators. <clears throat> um, so much I want to say, but it's a tight window. This video, I want to make it short enough so I can be able to upload it and everything. So it's not too long. And I'm not talking your ear off. But uh, um, you can always schedule that one-on-one -on -one with me, um, 15. It should be below or above this video as well. Please do that. Um, and you have to do that to enter my BC classroom anyway. So uh, um, the Azure, uh, what I say, 104? Yeah is about they make about on average 126 a year all right and then you got your uh azure uh, uh 500 which is your security so if those of you who want to go on the security side especially in azure pick up that az 500 certification and then last but not least this gets overlooked so much but it's so much uh you get so much leverage because so few people actually go after this and this is a great sneaky way to get in the cloud get your foot in the door uh, really fast um, and learn a lot really early on is that Salesforce administration certification, <clears throat> which make on average seventy four thousand dollars a year, which ain't bad in most like ninety eight percent of the, the the country. You know, um, still a really good salary. You're still way above average earning, um, and plus you can do so much uh, with that uh, position once you get in as a Salesforce admin and become a Salesforce cloud expert. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, um. You uh so yeah those are the six most overlooked um cloud certifications in 2023 that I suggest that you go into pursue uh, to become specialized in cloud and again I'm this isn't a, a video hasn't been made public yet public yet specifically for you all because I care about you all primarily and you all have throughout this you know email process show the most interest and and dedication and seriousness in being cloud engineer so. As my six, I'm welcome to all your thoughts. I'm welcome to all your questions. Send me an email. Um, if you're interested in joining my BCE classroom experience, we actually have a meeting coming up this uh, every two weeks. We do a biweekly check in uh, this Thursday at 6 p.m. So if you want to make that deadline and be in a group by then, um, schedule my one on one 15. Um, you only get one one on one 15. I want to let you all know that as well. Just because I give you one freebie for a face to face doesn't mean you know, you can always utilize. Uh, other than that, you can schedule a one on one with me. Um, if you have if you already have talked to me, um, I'll send you that link as well. Um, but if you're in my group, we do one on ones um, every other week. So you'll see my face every other in this hoodie. You know, shout out to shout out to In Infinity Printing. They gave me a great hoodie. They hooked your boy up. You see this? You see this? See this? All right. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. If you got any questions. Uh, let me know. As always, I'm here to support you all. All right. Um, uh, continue to be great. Okay, just stop. I don't know if it stopped recording. I hope it didn't. I hope it caught all that. But anyway, y'all be great. Have any questions? Reach out to me. All right, be out.